Hello everybody, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I wanted to talk about a fountain pen ink that is fantastic for art. It is the Platinum Pigment Ink. This is the blue version. So this ink um, is kind of of the series with the Platinum Carbon Ink, which is really popular amongst artists. It's light fast and waterproof. This ink, um, from what I've seen, online is light fast as well. I'm not quite sure about the waterproof. It just hit me as I was mentioning that with the other one. But uh, from what I've seen online, the light fastness is there. And um, that's a really important thing to me. So that's what I really liked about it. I picked it up about a year or two ago. I haven't used it too, too much, but I recently filled up this fountain pen revolution pen with it. And the last time I used it was to do a quick study, a sketch of, um, who was it? Let's see. Ivan Shishkin. And here it is on Bockingford blue tinted watercolor paper. So kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you use it for art. And to show the blue tint of the paper, here's white, um, copy paper right next to it. So I uh, last used this, let's say uh, three or four weeks ago, and it being a pigmented ink, they can clog pens. So I figured it'd be great to open it up on camera, see if there's any flow issues and whatnot. So Fountain Pen Revolution, this is the uh, Himalaya version one, I believe, the 5.5 nib uh, flex, and I think it's the fine. So you want to be careful what pens you put it in because of that pigment aspect. Platinum does make the desk pen, which I, I love. I have that at work. Um, I just don't have one at the art desk right now. So it starts right up. A little bit of railroading. A lot of bit of railroading right now. But there you go. Doesn't seem to be holding up to flex too well, but we're starting right up after sitting in this pen for, um, let's say four weeks. It's pretty good. There's some blue in the cap. I'll have to clean that out. We'll have to see. So anyway, let's just take a look at it. Uh, this is on uh, just kind of regular paper. Brown box. We'll let it dry. We'll see if it bleeds through. And we'll see if there's any feathering. This is the copy paper. You can tell there's a lot of bleeding taking place in feathering. And we have the Rhodia pad. Let's see. Okay. And I don't have any art paper out right now. Actually, I do have a uh, 25% cotton paper right here. So I can do that. I think it really shines with the art purpose. And I believe this should be a strip of 100% cotton. Okay, so that is a bunch of different types of paper. It's been sitting for a few moments. Let's see if there's any smearing there. No.
None. I would probably smear on the Rhodia. Yeah, there's a little bit of smearing taking place. So you'd have to give it a longer time period to dry. And I could just see just by observation that this is still wet. You can see that there. And it's still wet right there. But obviously over time it does dry. So if you're left-handed and if you're doing art with it, you just have to be careful of it from that aspect. Let's um, just do this to the side. I will bring this up to the screen for you to see how it looks. So you can see the feathering that took place there. And you'll see the bleed through. Copy paper. I feel like bold lines <laughs> and bleed through. It happens on there. Here is the 25% cotton, 75% alpha cellulose. You can see that it's still wet on this one. Wow. I mean, it is a wet writer that I was using, but it's still something to be aware of. And this is the 100% cotton. Is it still wet? Yeah, it's still wet. And no bleed through. So... I'm going to conclude the video at that. Um, kind of gives you an idea of the color from light, what I've seen online. The light fastness tests are really good. Um, waterproof. I haven't test, tested that out yet. If you want to, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I just really don't have any purpose for the waterproofness. In fact, let me pause it for a second. Let's see. I'll be right back. All right. So I have some water on a brush. We'll pass over it. We'll see how it does. I tore the rodeo paper out of its book a little bit. So I think we just need a longer drying time. That's the copy paper. So you wouldn't be watercoloring on copy paper. So you're not gonna have anything you write wash away. This is the 100%, 25% uh, cotton, a little bit. And then 100% cotton, a little bit as well. So I'm gonna bring them all close to the screen. You might be able to see the blue that was washed a little bit but um honestly i think just given a longer drawing time i don't think it'd be much of an issue so i uh, hope you enjoyed uh let me know what you think down below uh like subscribe for more content and if there's anything you want me to cover or other materials or inks you want me to look into let me know all right y'all have a great day bye